Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about subtraction of integers. So at the end of this lesson, it is expected that you'd be able to correctly translate a subtraction process or expression into an equivalent addition expression. Correctly find the difference between two integers and simplify series of operations involving addition and subtraction of integers. So in our lesson, these are the essential questions that we want to answer at the end of the lesson. So how is subtraction of integers similar in process with addition of integers? How can you represent and solve application problems involving subtraction of integers? First, let's define the minuend. The minuend is the first number in the subtraction. It is the number from which another number is to be subtracted. Example, in the expression 9 minus negative 5, the minuend is 9. So this first number is what we call the minuend. Next, subtrahend. This is the second number in a subtraction. It is the number to be subtracted from another number. In the example 9 minus negative 5, the subtrahend is negative 5. 9 is the minuend, negative 5 is the subtrahend. Subtraction of integers. Subtraction of integers may be classified into two cases. First case is uh, when an integer is subtracted by a positive integer. So an integer minus a positive integer. And the second case is an integer minus a negative integer. So in the expression negative 4 minus 2, this illustrates the first case, an integer minus a positive integer. So we have here an integer minus, and we have 2, so positive 2. The expression 9 minus negative 5 illustrates the second case an integer minus a negative integer. So we have here 9 is an integer and then minus and then we have a negative number or a negative integer here, negative 5. Example, let's subtract negative 8 minus 5. So this is an example of the first case. We have an integer, negative 8, minus a positive integer. So, pwede na ito walang uh, parenthesis. Okay? So, negative 8 minus 5. Sabi ko kanina, this illustrates the first case, an integer minus a positive integer. So, ang gagawin natin, we just have to copy the minuend, which is negative 8. Yan siya. And then, we change the subtraction sign. So, this subtraction sign, gawin natin positive. Okay? Again, yung subtraction sign, yung minus sign, gawin natin positive or addition sign. And then itong positive 5, we change the sign of the subtrahend. So yung positive 5, magiging negative 5. Well, in this case, para na siyang addition, di ba? Para na siyang addition of integers. So we have here the same signs, okay? The same signs, so we call it like signs. So, um... From our previous lesson, kapag pareho ang sign, then we add the two integers or we add the absolute value and copy the common sign. And so we proceed with the rules of addition. So we have here 8, absolute value ng negative 8, that's 8. Absolute value ng negative 5, that's 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. And then you copy the common sign, which is negative. So that's negative 13. Therefore, negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. So, pwede nang diretso class. Um, let's say, walang parenthesis yan, at saka walang parenthesis yung 5. Magiging negative 8 minus 5. So, diretso na, pareho silang negative. Diretso nang i-add ang 8 and 5. So, that's negative 13. Example number 2. Perform the indicated operations. Here we have three terms. We have negative 7 minus negative 3 plus 6. So with this, pwede natin unahin muna yung negative 7 at saka yung negative 3. And then yung sagot, i-add natin sa 6. 
So perform the operation of addition and subtraction from left to right. So evaluate negative 7 minus negative 3 first by following the steps in subtracting integers. So we have here an integer minus a negative integer. So in this case, we have negative 7. Wala tayong gagawin sa minuend. Kukupiyahin lang natin yan, negative 7. And then we change the uh, subtraction symbol or the subtraction sign into positive. And then yung sign ng minuend, it change din natin from negative to positive. So it's like negative 7 plus 3. And so, since they have unlike signs, we subtract 7 and 3. So, that's 7 minus 3. That gives us 4. And we copy the sign of the larger absolute value, which is the sign of 7, and that is negative. So, the answer is negative 4. And so, take note that negative 4 is just the difference of the two numbers. We still have to add 6. And so, adding negative 4 and 6, we have the neg negative 4, the absolute value of 6, minus the absolute value of 4. And that's 6 minus 4, that is equal to positive 2, or simply 2. No need to write the positive symbol. Okay. Therefore, we have negative 7 minus negative 3 plus 6 equals 2. Take note, like signs, we add and copy the common sign. And for unlike signs, we subtract and copy the sign of the larger absolute value. So it's just the same with the rules in addition. So the thing is, for subtraction, we just change the sign or the subtraction sign into positive or plus sign. And then we change the sign of the minuend and apply the rules of addition. Let's take these examples. We have positive 1 or 1 plus negative 3. And so we change this sign into minus sign. And negative, we change it into positive. So we have 1 minus 3. And that gives us negative 2. Because they have unlike signs. Unlike signs, we subtract 3 minus 1, that's 2. And we copy the sign of the larger absolute value which is negative 3. So that's negative 2. Kung nalilito naman kayo kung magpa-change, change pa ng sign, pwede namang diretsyo na. So 1 plus negative 3, positive negative kapag ka, ganito ang technique. Kapag magkatabi ang positive at saka negative, magiging negative yan. So that becomes 1 minus 3. So they have unlike signs, so we subtract them. 3 minus 1, the answer is 2, and the larger absolute value is 3, negative, so that's negative 2. Well, here we have negative 1 plus negative 3. Positive, negative, magkatabi, so therefore magiging minus sign. So magiging negative 1 minus 3. So they have like signs. And so, in like signs, we have to add and copy the common sign. 1 plus 3, that's 4. The common sign is negative. So, the answer is negative 4. Next, we have 1 minus negative 3. So, negative, negative, kapag magkatabi ang dalawang negative, magiging positive yan. Okay? Magiging plus sign. So, we have the minuend is 1. Negative, negative, magkatabi, magiging plus sign. And so that's 1 plus 3. And so the answer is 4. Next, we have negative 1 minus negative 3. Negative, negative, magkatabi. So this becomes positive. So we have the minuend negative 1. Ayan. Magkatabi yung dalawang negative, magiging plus. And we have 3. So negative 1 plus 3, it's unlike signs. So we subtract. 3 minus 1, that's 2. And we copy the sign of the larger absolute value, which is positive. So the answer is 2.
You can practice this one in your notebook. Number 1, subtract negative 20 minus 30. Number 2, perform the indicated operations, negative 12 plus negative 15 minus 11. You can pause this video and answer it yourself in your notebook and che check the answer after 2 minutes or after you have solved the problem. So here are the answers to exercise number one and number two. For number one, the answer is negative 50. For number two, the answer is negative 28.